Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing new in snacks from Tesco. Quick apology, there is gonna be screaming children throughout this video. I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, I do apologize. There's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Anyway, I did a little poll the other day on my community area on YouTube, and I said, what do you wanna see? And this got more votes. So here I am back with another snack taste test. I actually haven't done one of these in about three months. So it was definitely overdue. Let's get on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. What should we try first of all? I think I'm gonna start with a biscuit. I've actually got what I feel like is the perfect mix between sweet and savory in this video. So first thing I'm gonna try, which I've actually got two Fox's biscuits, which I didn't realize, but can't help what's new. I mean, there's constantly new salted caramel stuff. So I guess this one was a given. Limited edition salted caramel crunch creams i love these foxes biscuits so if this is done right mm. it could be a little saltier but the caramel side of it it kind of feels i mean we all know i'm bad at descriptions but it kind of feels like cold in the mouth as if it's been in the fridge which it hasn't but it's not actually cold it <laughs> I don't think I'm making sense here, but it's a very subtle flavour. The caramel is very subtle. The salted side of things could definitely be more. So it's a very mild flavour, but a really nice biscuit. Would I say it captures the flavour of salted caramel? Maybe not. I think this is the type of biscuit that the more you eat of it, the more you can taste the flavour. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? I mean, I probably would, but in terms of is it salted caramel, I'm going to rate it about a six for that. But it is a nice biscuit, so personally, I would buy these ones again. Why did I sound like I was reading off a script then? It just suddenly felt like I was doing like a place in the sun or something. Next thing I'm going to try, hot and spicy pop chips. Pop chips are not personally a favourite of mine, but they are one of my boyfriend's absolute favourites. So I obviously had him in mind when I picked these up. But you know, I always like to pick up a few spicy things because I'm a spicy gal. Oh, they really do smell spicy. That is a spicy crisp. Oh my God. I actually really like them. You know, sometimes spicy stuff has like this horrible flavour, but this is a really good flavour and very spicy. They kind of taste like the smell of ticker paste, like before it's cooked. They're a hit from me. Me three years ago would be coughing and choking right now. They are very hot, like there's no, normally it has the little, you know, what is it called? Peppers, the little chilies on it, like the little rating to say if it's like mild or not. I would say if this was gonna have a rating, it would be either two or three chilies. That's definitely not a mild crisp. I really like them and I would definitely buy these again. I feel like I need something to cool my mouth down with. I don't know if you can even see it properly. These are the AU cans and this is Pineapple Crush. I don't know why I stopped including alcohol in every video, but yeah, I always used to make sure that I tried something alcoholic in a video. So I thought I'd bring it back today, not promising it for future ones, because I always say, I'll make sure I start doing it again and then I forget. I've already tried the blue raspberry ones of these which they do now stock in tesco and they also stock grape but this was the only flavor left and i'm like is this a bad sign but i think these are three pounds a can you can get them in costco for cheaper but i can't remember what they worked out to be i mean if you compare it to i mean i know it's a bigger can but ms ones don't even talk to me about it they've gone up again to two pound forty I think they've gone up to. So yeah, this is more expensive than the M&S can and this is only 5%, but it is a bigger can. It's 330 mils. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It smelt like that artificial pineapple, but the actual flavor of it, it kind of tastes like Malibu and pineapple, but a bit more watered down. That on a summer's day would be beautiful. I really like that. Would definitely buy it again. I want to try the grape one, but I'm not the biggest grape fan sometimes i can find it to be a really sickly flavor that is almost better than the blue raspberry one i think from memory if i was going to rate that that'd be eight out of ten next up we have another gold product it wouldn't be a new in video without something salted caramel and something gold these are the milky bar gold yogurts i can't remember what gold product i hated oh no that was the arrow i think i liked this 
got nice. These Milky Bar yogurts were like the best things ever growing up. What team were you? Were you Milky Bar or Rolo? I was gonna lick the top, but then that would be the taste test over. Let's give it a little mix. Mm, it doesn't have much smell. It's kind of tasteless, honestly. Yeah, that's giving nothing. The Milky Bar yogurt is much better. Don't waste your money on this. The gold flavour is not coming through at all. They're a no from me. Definitely wouldn't buy these again. Next thing I've got are these pop works, which I've realised don't say new on the bag. So I think these are new. I must have picked them up for some reason, unless I just assumed they was. But these are salted toffee pop works, which are popped crisps. Kind of like the spicy ones I just had, but in a triangle shape. The smell. Oh my god. They are salted. When I first put it in my mouth, I was like, these are caramel snacker jacks, but it tastes like caramel snacker jacks, but a very salty version. They're not terrible. They're much better before the saltiness hits you in the mouth. I feel like it takes the salted and sweet balance a bit off. Like, it's more like salt. Personally, wouldn't buy these again. Next thing I'm going to try are the Fibre One Crispy Brownies. I still love my Fibre One bars. I still buy them all the time. They're just such a good, easy snack to have. This is the type of thing I'll have before starting a video. When I wake up feeling a bit peckish, but I don't want to eat breakfast yet because I'm filming. So a lot of the time I'll have like a Fibre Bar and a Coffee. And we all know my love for crispy pieces. So when I see these come out, I was like, need to try them. They also bought out Banoffee Donuts, but Banoffee's not really for me so i gave them a miss and went for these instead this is like an upgrade for me this is what i've been asking for they literally taste exactly the same as the normal one they just have the little crispy bits in i do love having the little extra crunch in it personally if you like the brownie bars and you're like me you like to have the little crunch then these would definitely be for you i would personally buy these ones again although I never really buy the Fibre One bars. I buy the LD ones because I think the LD ones are much nicer because they're thicker and they have better chocolate chunks in them. But if I haven't been LD, which I haven't been LD in ages, and I was picking up these, I would pick these ones up over the normal brownie ones. So for me personally, I would definitely buy these again. Next thing, I told you guys I had such a good mix of sweet and savoury today, did I? Or did I just think that in my head? I can't remember. Next thing I have are these, which are dinky, and I don't know how you say this, this, which I think is like a sausage with mozzarella and honey pastry puffs. Now, sometimes, oh, do these have to be heated? Oh, no, it says eat hot or cold. I'll just eat this cold for now. Yeah, sometimes I don't like honey, and then sometimes I do, so I don't really know if I actually like honey, or I just don't like an artificial version of honey, because in some things the flavor is fine this says full fat soft cheese extra mature cheddar cheese mozzarella full fat soft cheese i think it's i don't know i can't actually say it's something paste and honey filling with butter enriched pastry topped with paprika crumb this whole summer collection is new but then maybe they might have been out last year because it doesn't say new on the packet sorry i've just opened that so annoyingly quite a few in there yeah, that's not for me. You see, I think it is honey I don't like. Oh my God, spicy. No, it's not. Maybe a little bit. No, I can't like that. It's not for me at all, sorry. Something in that is vile to me. Well, at least I tried it and I'm sure my boyfriend will like it. But yeah, for me personally, that's horrible. Next thing I'm gonna try was quite a hard one for me to pick. So you may have seen these and these are the Goo Mixology like cocktail goo pots and they had espresso martini, but I'm not really a fan of coffee flavored food. So didn't choose that, but they also had strawberry daiquiri, but I went for the passion fruit martini because of the description. A surprise fizz of chocolate coated popping candy. That's what sold it for me. Followed by luxurious passion fruit and champagne compote with creamy vanilla and vodka cheesecake. Tell me that don't sound good. But then again, I don't really like alcohol flavored stuff. Guys, I'm gonna link a video here. I did a video which I personally loved. It was eating alcohol whole infused food for the day and these would have gone perfectly in that and i had like jack daniel sesame strips from tgi's i had bailey's white chocolate french toast yeah i personally love that video but i think a lot of people probably just thought ew as i kind of do when i think of like liqueurs but so many of you guys sent these to me on instagram so i thought i need to give it a go mm, smells like i'm in the club there's all the layers 
I love popping candy. I mean, it gets a bit annoying, but just something about it. It's very nostalgic. This is nice. Is it my favorite flavors? No. It kind of reminds me of a Solero, but in the summer, that would be really nice. You know, if you're having like a girl's night, this would be the perfect end, a little cocktail dessert. It tastes expensive. Like the quality of it is really good. The layers are all perfect. The biscuit base is a perfect amount. It's not too much. Would I buy it again? If I was going to pick a goo dessert, I would personally pick a different flavour. But this is really nice. And like I said, if I was doing like a girl's night, I'd buy it again. I think it's more just because it's like, oh, cocktail dessert, rather than the flavours are amazing. The popping candy is good though. I do like it. I would recommend you guys to try it. And now I kind of want to taste the strawberry one. Let's move on back to something savoury. Barbecue sauce quavers. I always question myself with things like this when it's in a multi-pack. I'm like, is it new new? I'm pretty sure it is because I'm sure I would have tried it. I definitely tried the green ones, whatever that is. Are the green ones salt and vinegar? And prawn cocktail. So yeah, I am pretty sure they're in there. Mmm. The popping candy is still going off in my throat. They're good. There's something about the texture of quavers that I just love. What barbecue is it reminding me of though? I'm going to say a very mild Pringles. I'm going to eat all six bags of these pretty quickly. If you love the prawn cracker ones and you're a barbecue lover, definitely recommend them. I would definitely buy these again. Let's move on back to something sweet. These are the Fox's Indulgence Center cookies. I think they had these in these ones, the triple chocolate. And then I have a feeling the other one was chocolate orange. I remember looking at it thinking, no, thank you. Yeah, pretty sure it was chocolate orange. But these just look like they have a gooey chocolate center. And there is six in the pack. So let's break it together. Oh, still feels hard. Oh. <laughs> See my little face in the back like that. Oh, God. They're really good. And the sauce goes right out. It's not just like a little blob in the middle. They're very generous. The hard biscuit mixed with the liquidy center is unreal. They are really good. Considering I'm at the end of my taste test and I still want to eat it all, that's how you know it's good. That is a perfect combination. I do prefer a softer biscuit, but because it's got that liquid center, it makes it. That's a nine out of 10 from me. I would definitely buy these again. Back with something savory and I've just reread the packaging and we have honey sriracha crisps. Now this will be telling if I like these. They look full of flavor. You see that doesn't taste like these. They're really nice. They taste like something and I can't think what, but I say that in every taste test because my memory is so bad. I mean, they say sriracha. They're not really spicy. Am I reading that right? No. Sriracha. Hey, sriracha, isn't it? I'm a bit impartial with this. I don't love it. I don't hate it. The flavour's quite nice. But I personally wouldn't reach for this flavour. They're definitely not as good as the hot and spicy. I think a lot of people would like these. They're very flavoursome, but they're just not my palate preference, personally. Next thing I'm going to try, I feel like I might have messed up with these. So, these are the Skittle Squishy Clouds. It wasn't until I got home that I thought, have I tried these? Because I saw they were sour, because these have been out about a year. So, I thought, maybe I've just tried the original. And now they've brought out sour but then I thought no maybe not maybe they were both flavors I mean these could be no I know I've definitely tried the squishy ones before but I just don't know if they were the sour ones or not so we have pineapple raspberry apple mandarin and cherry let's try raspberry that is good now I'm thinking I haven't tried these because these ones are covered like in sugar and I'm pretty sure the ones I tried before weren't sugary let's do apple it's a lot of orange the whole bag is basically orange green at the bottom i'm not going to try them all but let's do cherry mm. they are sour i was just about to say they are sour but not too sour but then i was like i really like them if you like a tougher chewy sweet and you like sour sweets they're really good but i would be upset with this selection because look all my favorite flavors are already gone and we're left with mainly yellow and orange they're personally a win for me i would buy these again we are now on to our last item i've just remembered i didn't even let you guys know we're on a countdown the last thing i have these are the new hagen dazs macaroon ice creams now they do this in tub form but i didn't know how exciting the tub form would be so i went for the sticks they didn't have many 
ice cream options. They had new Ben and Jerry Sunday, but I really didn't like the Ben and Jerry Sunday. The foamy stuff on top, I just didn't like. So I just feel like there's no point in me buying other flavors if I don't really like it. Here's what this one looks like. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Is it like white chocolate around the edge? Move. Strawberry ice cream, raspberry sauce, and pink mini macaroon shells smothered in a white chocolate coating. You've got to love strawberry and white chocolate. Like, I personally love vanilla-y ice creams that are like raspberry ripple. Yeah, raspberry ripple, really. Um, or strawberry cheesecake. I need to try and get more of the, like, macaroon bit. When I looked at the ice cream, I thought, it looks a bit, what's the word, like, icy. <laughs> I don't know, some ice cream is not creamy. It's kind of like a mini milk, but a bit more ice creamy. <laughs> oh, there's some pink stuff there in the middle. I think that's the bits of macaroon. Definitely go and give this a go. The flavours in this are immaculate. I hate biting it. I'm literally doing it for the video. I'm going to quickly pop it back in here and pop the pack back in the freezer. And that is the end of another taste test. I feel like today's one was very successful. There's quite a few things that I really loved. So, for example, these. The Quavers, the AU, the ice cream I just tried. That was unreal. Also, just a quick disclaimer. They didn't have any, like, chocolate bars or, like, nibbly sweets that I hadn't already tried. But I didn't even feel like I missed having anything like that in today's video because... There's a lot of things that I really enjoyed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing them. If you've tried any of these, please let me know in the comments below. Before you go, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.